Tonight, the Anchorage police chief gives new details on why he says an APD sergeant kept distance before the chief says he fatally shot a man whose family says he was dealing with mental health, health issues. Our investigative reporter, Johnson Kuhn, updates us on what the police say happened in those key moments. That's right, Tracy. During an afternoon news conference, Anchorage police chief Sean Case talked about the department's decision not to go to the exact location where the man they say they eventually fatally shot told 911 dispatchers he was located. Chief Case said because the man who was fatally shot, James Afovai, had conflicting information all three times he called 911 dispatchers, they thought they were dealing with a potential mental health crisis. The chief said today they held back from that location uh, where they were called to so they'd have more time to prepare with less lethal options and give the mobile intervention team time to respond. But the chief says Afovai still ran at Sergeant James Dawkins with a knife when he was shot. The Afovai family has said he was recently diagnosed with schizophrenia and have remained critical of police's response. I actually can't comment on that at the time. I, I don't know if we've confirmed that or not. I know that at the time that we talked to the individual and responded to the call, we had no information that that he had any diagnosis or he had he, he was specifically in mental health crisis. So I cannot even stress enough to <coughs> that they are trained professionals. Under pressure, despite how much the pressure, they should be able to respond correctly. During the press conference, Case updated the length of knife the length of the knife he says James was holding from 12 inches to 14 inches. Case also said at the time of the fatal shooting, other responding officers blocked the car reported to be occupied from the line of fire. We'll continue to follow this story as it develops. Johnson Kuhn, Alaska's News Source.